went to your office. Well, I didn't expect to find you What are you, you doing here? here? I'm looking for you. You shouldn't have come down here. Well, I just came to talk. Not now. What? Look, you have to go, Luke. I, I'm busy. I don't have time for this right now. Damien, what's going on? I'm waiting for someone. Well, then I'll wait with you. No, you'll just be in the way. In the way? Yes. Yes, please. Just, just talk to me and understand. I don't want you here. All right? You have to go. Just leave me alone. Go. Okay. No, wait. Damien, what is going on? Excuse me? I just came here to talk to you. But nobody asked you to do that. Yeah, I know. They're all too busy telling me that I should just forget about you. Well, then maybe you should listen to them. It's really funny, Damien, because I thought you'd want me to hear your side of the story. So, either I can walk away right now, or you can tell me what's really going on. It's your call. Hey. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We're on our way to see Lucy. Is Luke around? We wanted to see if he wanted to come with us. No, actually, he, um, said he had some errands to run. Errands? Yeah. Let's see, these errands, do they have anything to do with Damien? Yeah. He, um, said he wanted to go hear Damien's side of the story. His side of his spin. Do you know where he went? No. I'm gonna call Damien. Why? If he knows that Luke's looking for him, what's he gonna do? This is what he's been wanting. It's going straight to voicemail. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll, uh, go over to the police station and talk to Margo. Maybe Margo or Lucy will know where Damien is. I hope so. I have a bad feeling about this, though. Listen to me, Luke. You have to go. Right now. Damien, if something's wrong, maybe I can help. You want to help? Just stop following me around. I don't owe you any explanations. You got it? Go! Yeah. You're right. We don't owe each other anything. You Fredo? All right, enough pleasantries. The guns. You'll be able to get them down there onto the ship without being noticed. Good. You've used my ship before, haven't you? At least this time you'll be cut in. Benefit from it. Not likely. You made a big mistake trying to use me to smuggle your guns. Now, very slowly, put your hands up. Ow! 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 you're here would you tell this niece of yours that there is no way that she can possibly count on damien getting her out of here grandmother don't listen to her lucy do you know where damien is no i haven't seen him since yesterday why because luke's gone looking for him oh heavens why is he doing that because he wants answers damien said he had some sort of plan to help you do you know what it is no i have no idea what he had in mind why can't anyone in your family stay out of police business because it's not just a police matter to Luke, it's personal. Oh, God. If Luke's going after Damien because of something that I did... Nobody's going after anybody. Now, darling, did you did you try to reach Luke and Noah? Both of their phones went straight to voicemail. Given the situation, you can understand our concern. Oh, I can certainly empathize. Margo, please, empathize. you have to do something. I don't want Luke to get into trouble because of some arrangement that I made with Damien months ago. That is not going to happen. Is it, Margo? Right. Lucinda, I'll see if I can track one or both of them down. If you do. And then I will let you know. Thank you. Yes. Noah, what are you doing? Luke, it's all right. I said drop the knife. Noah, give me the gun. Punk kid, you're not going to shoot I'm me. I'm warning you, drop it! They're dead! Noah, let me have it. Believe you. I kind of surprised myself there. I didn't know you knew how to shoot a gun. Growing up in the military bases with the colonel, every Saturday was reserved for 
target practice. <laughs> Sounds fun. Look, I don't mean to be ungrateful, but don't you think this little talent would have come in handy when we were being held captive by Zack and Zoe? Uh, maybe if we'd gotten hold of a gun. I guess this makes us even, huh? Now, do you understand why I didn't want you to be here? I didn't want you to get caught in the middle just in case something like this happened. Yeah, but what is all this? What the hell is going on here? This is the man you've been looking for. Margo. Meet Fredo. Luke! Oh, oh. Thank God you're all right. Where were you? Why didn't you answer my calls? Mom, Mom, we're okay. Everything's fine, right? Everything's fine? We're not buying that. Tell us. Tell us what happened, for heaven's sake. Oh, never mind. Why can't you leave me alone? Dad, it's okay. I promised I would help Lucy. And and have you? Yes. How? Well, I knew the key to proving your innocence was finding Freda. And I did. How? Oh, well, I set up a meeting with him. The plan was to get Freda to admit what he'd done and then bring him here to clear your name. But before I could do that... He managed to jump me. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Well, thanks to Luke and Noah, I'm alive. You were there? Baby, why did you involve him in this? No, he didn't. I didn't know what was happening. I just showed up. I'm glad he did. Because I saved my life. And then Noah saved both Damien and I from Fredo. My God. Thank you, Noah. Uh, so, uh, Damien, uh, you, <laughs> you risked your life, you're telling us, and the life of these boys... And where is this notorious Fredo right now? With Margot. She's getting a confession on him as we speak. Oh, my God, you mean it's over? 